Attention, this is anonymous. This page has pledged to take down the Lebanese government, for it has proved to be the most corrupted. During all these years they haven't accomplished any of their promises. Meanwhile our pledge won't be broken tonight. We will reveal, expose, and uncover all the secrets, all the classified information that have protected the corrupt. So listen carefully and be amazed by the unexpected information that condemn people you thought were innocent. We dare the government to prove this information faulty. Number 1. Said Al Hariri. As he is the Prime Minister of Lebanon, no deals passes without his signature. This leads that he is a partner of all and gets a commission from everyone, mostly contractors dealing with the state. One of the best income for Hariri is Ministry of Communication, who they earn with special deals hundreds of millions dollars annually, and annual budget of one billion dollar. His men, including Abdul Arab, and Jihad Arab, Bashir Basapnet, and his most powerful godfather is Alaka Wajja. Number 2. Maikati Family, Najat and Taha. Together they have six billion dollars. Two billion of which are from Lebanon, and five from Syria, and their work in the telecommunications sector. They were small traders in the early 1990s, when their relationship with the Syrians enabled them to obtain a contract to establish a project. Cellular company, France Telecom, started. They seized it from its original agent who was a Kuwaiti owner. With help of Lebanese and Syrian partners they forced the real owner to abandon them, with the threat of Hazi Canaan. Number 3. Valid Jan Blatt. Jan Balt. Accounts in Switzerland has assets worth up to $1 billion. He is the largest landowner in Lebanon, after the Maronite Patriarchate and his possessions are enormous. And Jumbulet, monopoly of gas trade, his partnership with Donald Zayn. A Syrian naturalized Lebanese and gets commission $300,000 per month, just to use Jun Bullet power to leave Bustani. Fuel exclusively. Also, Jun Bullet prevents the state from importing cement to remain a monopoly of the cement market. His company sells the ton of cement for $100, where the worldwide price is $30. So the Lebanese are paying four times the real price to Jun Bullet. One of the biggest partnership of Jun Bullet are the the Maronite Patriarchate who owns Hal Sibba Company for Cement. Number 4. Berry Family. His sons, and sons in law, are among the richest people in the world who have accounts in Switzerland. The accounts of President Berry alone in Switzerland which has more than 2 billion of dollars. Here it must be noted that the source of funds Naba Berry has, is his partnership in all business he made from companion with Harry from Salidaire as well as his partnership in government decisions. It allowed the seizure of millions of meters squared, a beach lands, that worth hundreds of billions of dollars. He is also a key partner with bosses on CDR funds. His brother Yasser Barry the second man in Council for Development and Reconstruction. It was this council that lost one billion dollars on an infrastructure project. Nothing was done while the papers on the budget confirms the payment of one billion dollars. In San Simon area, near the most beautiful Lebanon's beaches in Ramallah al Baida, Naba Berry makes a lot of money from his control on legitimate companies in the port of Beirut. He also appointed one of his men as a director circuit tobacco, Nassif Skalawi. Number 5. Fetz Anula. He took over 11 billions from the government, but it has not happened alone, but shared by said Harari. Nava Berry and Sulaim and Frangi get in Jumbulet. Number 6. Nihad al National Oop. He owns $300 million. From citizenship decrees and selling cars plate numbers. And some in limited variety deals. Number 7. Ghazi Eredi. He has $400 million in deals Beirut Port and Tripoli Port. He was paid 10% of all airport contractors. Number 7. Ghazi Zader. He has $100 million in deals of Ministry of Works and Ministry of Agriculture. Number 8. Ali Hassan Kilo. He owns $500 million. And his secretary owns alone $70 million. After she collects 10% of all contractors for their own benefit under the site of Finance Minister Ali Hassan Kilo. Number 9. Yusef Finiados. He now owns $100 million from works and free market deals and now preparing for the 1.5 billion deal to buy planes with number 10 Muhammad Al-Hud 
He has $200 million in deals of Middle East Airlines, where the Lebanese are imposed on the most expensive tickets in the world, the monopoly of the atmosphere and steal public money. The last message to our elites, you claim to be leaders, yet you fail to lead when we need leaders the most. So apparently after you all have watched this video you're shocked by the confidential files exposed, you better know that this is only the beginning. 30 years of corruption cannot be punished with one video. More is yet to come. Heads up and stay alert. We are anonymous. We are legion. We can forgive, though we shall never forget. Expect us.